cake on the mic, cake on the mic, cake on the mic, cake on the mic. Oh, that's the intro. Sacramento, Sacramento, California, born and raised. And Antelope is where I spend most of my days. You talk bad about my team, you must be a clown. This is Keek on the mic, so you know you better bear down. Bear down. Hey, what's going on, Bears fans? Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Keek on the Mic, the podcast all about the Chicago Bears. Like always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Make sure you also follow me on all my social media platforms to stay connected with all Keek on the Mic news. So, Bears fans, the rumors going around the last couple of weeks as we get ever closer to the 2023 NFL Draft is that the Chicago Bears may trade down again. I've come on the podcast many times times i went over many different scenarios about if they traded down what what they could receive the team that they may be interested in trading with but we all know that ryan poles um, has no problem with willing and dealing to get more draft capital and for some reason ryan poles loves to trade in the nfl draft i know i could come on here before and talked about last last draft where he was just willing and dealing he ended up with multiple extra draft picks so ryan poles has no problem trading during the NFL draft. And it seems like um, he is prepared to possibly trade down again from the nine, number nine overall selection in the 2023 NFL draft um, to continue to gain valuable draft assets um, to continue to add to this rebuilding Bears roster. But I wanted to come on here um, and talk about another scenario um, that I read um, in a recent column by Brad Biggs of the Chicago Tribune. Um, I felt I found it very interesting. Um, I feel like it's very bold. So I wanted to come on here and share this uh, piece of information that I read um, in this column with you guys and just get your guys' take on it um, and just engage with me like always. Comment down below in the comment section and let me know if you would actually do this scenario. Uh, Brad Biggs of the uh, Chicago Tribune said this in his recent column. The other possibility, and this involves a lot of moving parts, is moving down deeper into round one and getting enough draft cap capital to combine with day two picks to then trade back into round one. In that scenario, the Bears could have two picks in the back half of the first round. That's a dice roll for sure because you don't know what you're going to get. And Bears fans, that is definitely um, an interesting point um, that Brad Biggs brought up um, in his recent column of the Chicago Tribune, um, but it, it, it would be really risky because if you trade down right far enough into the first round um, to gain extra draft capital, um, you're not sure what you're going to get. You're not even sure who is going to be there. Um, so that's why I have the ultimate trust in Ryan Poles to understand his draft board, um, to stick to his gut, saying if the right player is there at number nine, you stay put and take the best player available um, to come help your football team right away. But there's also benefits um, of trading down far enough where you're going to collect massive amount of draft capital for example if you trade down into like the 17 20 range from number nine overall right you're gonna net um, a couple of day two picks this year and possibly some picks next year as well so and that's what brad bix is trying to say a scenario that could be possible um that if you trade down far enough you're gonna have extra draft capital you can still pick the best player available on your board that can come help you and then if you have another player um that you really want on your roster you'll have enough ammunition to trade back into the first round Round, um, add yet another player um, to come help your roster right away. And the thing that's funny about this is that anything is possible, just like I mentioned um, earlier in this podcast, anything is possible when it comes to Ryan Poles, because I understand that he loves the wheel and deal and move around in the NFL draft. Uh, and he has no problem trading um, up and down the draft board if it means he's able to land a quality player that's going to help the Chicago Bears roster right now. The, the big thing for me personally, if I'm going to trade down, um, I want to make sure the player that I want is still there. There, there is some benefits, like I said. Um, there, there should still be some quality talent. For example, if we trade down and a guy like um Darnell Wright, offensive tackle from Tennessee, is there, or um Kalijah Kansi, the defensive tackle from Pittsburgh, still there. Um, I think I would be willing to trade down, take one of those two guys. I think they would uh, obviously fill a massive hole in the Chicago Bears roster. Um, and then you can possibly trade back up if, let's say, for some random reason, um JSN is still there like that scenario, or let's say we don't pick um, Darnell Wright in the first pick of the first round, right? And he's still there. You could trade back in and get a guy like that. So it just depends on how the draft board falls. Um, but personally, I don't have a problem with it. Um, you just have to be really careful because you don't want to miss out 
um, on a true talent because you're trading down too much. Of course, we all love the draft capital, right? We're all going to love the extra ammunition, not only in this year's draft, but next year's draft as well. Um, but you just want to be cautious that you're still landing a very good player this year because we also need help this year, right? We can look at next year all we want, um, but we need to understand that we need help now as well. We are still rebuilding now. Um, so we can't look too much into the future because we want to be in, in this moment, right? So Overall, I am not opposed to it. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if Ryan Poles would consider that. Um, but overall, you just need to make sure that you do not miss out on a solid player. So Bears fans, um, how do you feel about um, this scenario that the Chicago Bears could trade back and then possibly trade back into the first round to net two first round picks this year and try to add two solid players to the Chicago Bears roster? Let me know down below in the comment section if you would be willing to do that. If you were a Ryan Pohl's shoes, would you pull that trigger? Let me know down below in the comment section. Before I let you guys go, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms and make sure you share this episode to kick on the mic with every single bears that you know but other than that back for all new bears podcast right here on kick on the mic thanks guys and bear down you ain't about it you ain't about it you ain't kick on the mic you ain't about it you ain't about it you ain't kick on the mic you can